so this is going to be a reading for my Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a look at August 23rd through the 25th. Now, keep in mind, this is general, so only take what does apply and let the rest fly. If you want more so of a personal reading, just check out the information listed in the description box. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe so you never miss a beat. Hit that notification bell as well. And let's see what's going on. So let's go over this card first while I'm shuffling. We have the root portal. And it says viality or vitality, not viality, what? Vitality, stability, and survival. And we also have fearful. Okay, Scorpios. So I'm getting the energy around children, pregnancy, sex. <laughs> okay, I'm also getting the energy of like creation, Those are the topics that may be coming up. That may be some of the running themes for some of you. Um, but to kind of elaborate on that, there may be like this really strong sexual connection you have with someone and it may not make any sense to you. Um, especially if there's a newer person. I'm really talking to my people who are dealing with someone new. Um, some of you may be even questioning whether or not you and the person you have like a very serious relationship, whether or not you guys should try for another child or a child, period. How you can like rekindle the romance within the connection. Some of you really want to tap into like um, a creative business or a creative endeavor or some sort of passion you have, or you could be really angry or angered, what? You could be triggered or angered by someone at your job or something, and it kind of triggers you to do something about your career after being aggravated with it for so long. I think I've been seeing this in Scorpio's readings for a minute now. But the first card's gonna represent you and your present situation. I have the hangman in reverse. So this is seeing things from a different perspective where you may have had like a very imbalanced view or just stagnant view on things. This is like knowing what you need to do, but then not really executing a plan or seeing the importance of things. Like this is, for instance, knowing that a relationship's super toxic, but then kind of like hanging in there for dear life, but then like finally seeing how it's been a detriment or a job, for instance. Um, there's also this energy of like delays stopping so if there has been any delays for you when it comes to your career or anything like that um, after you shift your perspective you guys realize that delays don't have anything to do with anything outside of you it's more so your energy and how it's being projected but this next card is going to represent the positive things that may come up and I do have the two of wands so some of you who have been working really diligently or really hard when it comes to creative endeavor. Um, there may be some creative opportunities that present itself that you may have to choose from. You guys may have two passions that you may be questioning whether or not you wanna pursue, and one of them you definitely are. This could be like one where you have to go to school for and one where it's just like starting a business or something. <clears throat> You guys may have like some big decisions ahead of you that's gonna change the future of how your life looks. So this could be moving, things like that. But these are exciting choices that are coming up. <laughs> now the challenge that may come up for this time frame, I have the death card. So this is actually the card for Scorpio. So this is you guys possibly standing in your own way. Make sure that you guys aren't and at least with you guys being in your position of challenge, quote unquote, you can now shift that energy because not only does this stand for you, but this also has a lot to do with transformation, personal transformation um, and allowing things to end in order for newness to begin. So for a lot of you, the challenge is the process of releasing, whether that's energy wise or physically releasing. Whether this is, you know, releasing your family so that you can move out, not necessarily releasing them, releasing them, but 
the holding on to them or holding on to a particular relationship or person or connection and not letting yourself date someone new, even if that's not physically, this could be emotionally or mentally or the experience itself. So these are things that are important to look at. And some of you need to initiate that change that you want to see. It's not just going to happen out of nowhere. The universe doesn't work on, I want this, so why isn't it here yet? They work off action. Now, this next card is going to represent the future. I have the four of this. And in the future, this is you really trying to save your money, wanting to put money away for a particular purchase or just to have a nice savings account. Um, some of you may be realizing that a spouse that you're currently in a relationship with is just very closed off, um, but they're still seemingly acting as if they still want this relationship, especially if this is a Leo, but regardless of the sign, um, there could be ego that's still keeping you and another person from speaking to each other. Like somebody is really gung ho on, I'm not reaching out to you. I'm not calling you because you need to call me. <laughs> yeah, very determined to get to the bag, but advice for you with the nine of pentacles, really focus on yourself during this time frame when it comes to finances, but also like your personal confidence. If you've been noticing, it's been hard for you to attract new love. For some of you, I'm gonna just be real. You may not give off this energy of being very confident in terms of like either self or when it comes to dating itself. It's like you may have people that pop in and out of your life, but either your energy isn't really invested because you're fearful that it's gonna go left or you, you're entertaining the wrong people. So it, it's different things that you may need to look at. And for some of you, you could better analyze it from a position of really doing you for now and focusing on level of self-love. And allowing things to kind of come to you than forcefully trying to attract. But this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective. If you did enjoy, definitely feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. Check out the description box as well to get a personal. And I will see each and every one of you in the next. Oh, also make sure you guys check out my pick a card channel. I meant to tell you guys that. I'll try to link it below in the description as well. But thank you. And I'll see you later.